Ahead of their party conference, the UK leader of the Liberal Democrats says he wants to make it harder to bring about Scottish independence. Sir Vince Cables advocating adding a new hurdle to the process by having a further vote after any second referendum. Here's our Westminster correspondent, David Purser. Vince Cable and his party are having to adapt. He and his MPs used to be in government, helping shape events directly. All that's now changed, but developing policy goes on. On that key Scottish issue, the Constitution. A clear commitment to the Union and this warning to the Nationalists. Vince Cable wants to make independence harder. If there ever were in future a referendum on Scottish independence and people voted for it, I think they would themselves have to accept that, that there should then be a confirmatory vote at the end. And that would be the way referendums are conducted, you know, conducted places like Switzerland, which uh, uh, use these things commonly. But a softer tone on the other key issue of the moment, Brexit. A willingness to join forces and form an alliance with the nationalists and take the argument directly to Michel Barnier. We do have a common position with the SNP in supporting Britain remaining in the single market and the customs union. And I'll be working with Mr Blackford. We're going to see Barnier in, in Brussels and make that case. But we would like the SNP to come off the fence on the people's vote because this is absolutely crucial and they, they haven't got there yet. Vince Cable is to stand down as Lib Dem leader probably next year. He describes his Scottish deputy, Joe Swinson, who appeared in the Commons with her young son Gabriel today, as brilliant. But he won't be drawn on whether she should succeed him. David Porter, reporting Scotland, Westminster.